Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY and today I'm going to show you how to make up this air pressure gauge for your plumbing inspections. Okay, so what we got is a Home Flex pressure test gauge. Um, this is just a gauge from Home Depot. Uh, it was 10 bucks. And what this has is it has a three quarter inch um, end on it here, um, female thread, and then it has a Schrader valve, just your normal bicycle or tire um, air inlet, so we can go ahead and pump this thing up. It is a zero to 15 PSI, so that's for our septic drainage. Uh, we ha also have a three inch uh, rubber cap, and we have some PVC um, adapters here. This is a male to female threaded end. And this is a step down from three quarter inch to half inch. So we have three quarter to half and that will fit in like this. So the game plan here is to take our gauge here, thread this into our three quarter inch onto our pressure gauge and then we have our half inch so we'll take our half inch um, adapter here and basically what we're going to do is that is going to be squeezing this section right here and right here is going to pinch down on the top of this lid and um, the only problem with that is is we got to make a little modification to this adapter here it's too long so these are tapered threads so we're gonna to need to cut this down probably, let's see what we got here. It's three quarters of an inch long. We are gonna cut that down to half an inch. That way, when we go to thread this in here like this, it is going to thread in a lot deeper um, and the threads aren't gonna bottom out right away because we want this to squeeze down around our cap. So we'll go ahead and cut this down to about half an inch. So with this shortened, what we're going to do now is just place this in the center. And then we're just going to trace around the threads on the inside here with a pencil. That'll show up on this rubber. Okay, so there we got our hole. Um, all we need to do is just cut this out. And we're going to use a utility knife to do that. Once your hole is cut, it is a little bit smaller than the fitting itself, and we want that because we want this to be able to seal up. What we're going to do next is take a little bead of caulk and put it right around the edge on our fitting. It doesn't need to be a lot because this is probably going to, a lot of this is just going to squeeze out right like that. And remember, this is the one that is going to go on the inside. So we're just going to take this, place it down in here, and then just screw it in. So we want these threads popping out on the other side, like this, um, so we can catch this. We're going to take another bead of caulk and put it right around here. There's not enough room to put um, Teflon tape so that's why we're using silicone here. We're going to take our bushing, screw this on. Now that we have this all tightened down, what you can go ahead and do is run a bead of caulk around here on the inside and the outside. It's just going to help seal it up a little bit. And then what we can do next is we can take some Teflon tape and we can put it on the outside here. And we can take our gauge, thread it onto here, and go ahead and tighten it up. All right, guys, that wraps this up. This is a really nice, cheap option for you guys to make to test out your systems for your inspector. 
Um, it's really simple to make. I encourage you guys to go out and make these instead of buying them online. Um, so what's nice about this is you can put any size cap on here you want. I have it on a three inch. That's what my biggest size is. Um, if you, you can put them on a two inch cap, it's just going to be a little bit tighter working around in here. Go all the way up to whatever size you need it to be. Um, the fittings are all going to stay the same. Just make sure that you cut them a little bit smaller so you can thread your uh, adapter into your actual uh, cap and it makes a nice good tight seal. Um, I really like these things. Um, really absolutely universal with a Schrader valve on the top. Just go ahead and air it up like you would a normal bicycle tire. So that's what's really nice about these. The rubber caps hold on to the pipes really well and seal them really good also with this pipe clamp on here. So this is a really good option for you guys to go to to have your uh, system aired up and for your inspector to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.